reaching out to whoever it is that has those pages up. Um, at least give us a chance to make friends <laughs> rather than, you know, maybe hurt somebody's feelings or... Direct response, and we have a hand here. Okay. okay. Um, I think that since we have moved beyond Facebook now, we're out here, um, and we have so many people on one of the pages, then, yeah, I agree that we should probably uh, try to reach out to the person, maybe see if they will, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, give up administrative control to a technology committee or something like that, instead of just one person controlling it. Okay, we had a hand over here. No, and I, I want to essentially agree with both of them. I mean, you need to keep posting information on the existing Occupy CR sites so that the people that have been looking at them have them. But the idea of creating another one so the people that are actually down here can coordinate their times and work schedules and stuff and it won't be congested and clogged with that other kind of information is probably a smart move. Okay, we got a direct response. Um, yeah, one of the things I, I noticed that... Um, Mike Jack! Oh, Mike sorry. Jack! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Occupy Philadelphia has like several Facebook pages for each one of their committees. They have like a child care page and um, a ride share page and you know they, they did that like that too. So. I have a hand. Do we have any direct response? Okay. Hand? Direct response? A little bit of both. Okay. Ran a search right now. There's a profile for Occupy Cedar Rapids and that's probably the larger of the two. There's only one page that I can see. You know, you search for Occupy Cedar, I get Occupy Cedar Rapids, 318 people. Occupy Cedar Falls, 117. So, if anything, we should probably start with the page of 318 because that one is what's coming from searches first from what I can see. Cedar Rapids and Cedar Falls both. Well, we don't care about that. Correct, correct. <laughs> well, we care, but... Speak thorough. Okay, well, um, should we perhaps make a, reach consensus that for, we, we might need a technology committee or an internet technology outreach committee and then try to find volunteers who would like to be a part of that and try to get this cleaned up, straightened up a little better? Okay, we want to try to... Everybody put your hands up and sparkle if you are in agreement with creating a technology committee Okay, I think we have consensus on that. No blocks? Okay. Um, all right. Oh, go ahead. Can you pass a page around? I don't know the hand signals at all. Is there another page that you can send around? Oh, they're, 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 they're pretty easy. Uh, Somebody just gave you a page. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, no, even over here. Um, I have a direct response. Oh, direct response. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, I remember a few minutes ago that there is another hand signal that wasn't on the sheet. It's called clarify question, and you just pick a sheet and answer this. It's another form of direct response. Okay. Okay. Hold up the now. Where are they going? <laughs> okay, um, I would uh, propose that whoever is interested in serving on the technology committee raise both hands and we proceed to nominate or choose somebody. Okay, okay, with both hands, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five people interested in working on that committee, is that right? Six people, I'm sorry. Six people. Okay. Um, well, should we should we continue to work on whether or not we need other committees? Perhaps. Perhaps right now what we should do is decide which committees we think are most important. Um, which committees people are interested in serving on, and then perhaps have a little bit of a breakout session for 20 to 30 minutes to uh, allow people to organize and delegate responsibility within committees. Okay, um, ideas for committees. What would be the most important committees that we need? We have, you 
decided that we'll establish a technology committee. Go ahead, sir. Communication. Communication. By media. Uh, direct response? Uh, by communication committee, do you mean like a media committee? Yeah. Or? Okay. Media of communications. Yeah, same thing. I think that would encompass. Have a hand over uh, here, and then you, sir, in the red. Okay. Definitely need a legal committee, somebody to keep the permits going. And Okay, and sir in the red? He's still fine. Well, I think if you think it's going to be lawyers, the lawyer shows up. Um, I think we should have a, a food and water committee just to have some general things around for protesters or occupiers who are not able to leave and can fix Okay, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Research? Any other uh, direct response? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Research? Yeah. In which way it comes? Oh, just keeping people up to date on what's happening outside of the Cedar Rapids. Oh, well, just at Cedar Rapids. Okay. Um, as far as logistics of actually occupying, uh, probably a good idea to have someone or a committee for security and another one for keeping the park clean. Because one thing that's going to happen if it's really dirty is people are going to come by and be like, this is disgusting. So, yeah, we don't want to be disgusting. We don't want to be disgusting. AJ? A medical team. Say again? Medical team. Okay, I'm going to propose that we try to stick to just those committees for now that are of most immediate importance. Um, I would propose that research and, well, I guess research I would propose can, can wait a little bit. Uh, perhaps other people have different ideas about what's most important to get set up at this meeting. Uh, go ahead. Oh, and then you. Go ahead. These are all good points. But shouldn't we have some committee set up for action, like we were talking about Wells Fargo? I mean, we're going to all march as a group on this bank this day, this building another time. I mean, that big park we're here for. I mean, yeah. if we just stay in the park here, we're doing them a favor, all right? So we got to get in their face. So perhaps we make up a list of what everybody would agree to, to like, okay, we're going to go to Wells Fargo this day, and whatever you'd want to call that committee, I don't know, the marching committee. Is committee. Well, we have a direct, re yeah. direct response over here. That's what I was going to say, and you can call it the events committee or activity committee, but you've got to have somebody to get out where we're going, what we're going to do, and have a message involved, you know, we're going to go I fully agree with you. That's what today worldwide is supposed to be about. Yeah. And it's really good that we're all here and we're talking about it. But today was supposed to be a day of out in the face and getting some action. Hey. I'm with hey. you. You got a out yeah. Okay. Yeah. Local outreach and education. It's not just a global, national, or state issue. If we can't clean up the issues that are right here in our own backyard. How can we hope to do it globally? Try. All right, what I'm sensing is that people would like to go out and do something, I guess, before deciding on a lot of this stuff. Um, should we take a, try to reach consensus on, on making a decision to go out and protest where that should be and then when we're going to meet back to, to work on committees? Or perhaps we can save that for tomorrow's General Assembly even, too. I'd like to open discussion up on, on that. It's as simple as even if we just walk down the First Avenue, hang a left, do a round the box, you know, I mean, yeah. we don't have to have this big moment of thing just to get out in their face, and that's downtown. Yeah. So we'll start heading that way, do the loop, come back, see how you feel when you get back here. Want to do it again? Do it again. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, I'd like to propose that uh, if everyone's in agreement on the uh, march, that, um, uh, we uh, take a break and make some signs, and uh, we can come to consensus on where we want to march. Uh, I'm 